Hey guys, it's Cobalt here, and welcome back to another tutorial video. After my last customizing tutorial, I got a lot of requests for another tutorial on sculpting hair and clothes on LPS Customs, so without further ado, let's get right on into it. The materials you will need for this project are a clay of your choice, your base figure, water, and silicone or metal tools. I have chosen to use Nidatite clay for this example, but I would also recommend epoxy sculpt. Epoxy might be easiest for beginners when it comes to sculpting clothes, but Nidatite is definitely the ideal choice for hair. If you want to learn more about these types of clays, please watch my beginner's guide tutorial. Tools are optional but silicone tools are great for smoothing clay without sticking, and these sharp metal tools are great for carving into the clay. However, for the majority of this project, you can just use your fingers. Let's get started with the clothes. For this project, I chose to use a collie base because they have fur sculpted into the mold that needs to be covered up. Keep your fingers wet and cover the part of the figure's body in a thin layer of clay where you want the clothes to be. Next, smooth out the clay to the best of your abilities with your finger or a silicone tool. Adding water will help smooth out any fingerprints, but they can also be sanded away after the clay is dry. Keeping the surface of the clay wet will also help it from sticking to your tools or your fingers. The purpose of this step is to fill in the cracks of the fur to create a smooth surface that will look like the fabric of the shirt. For a smooth base figure like a short hair cat, this step can be skipped entirely. Next, roll out a strip of clay on a hard surface. Adding water will keep it from sticking to your table as well. Cut it to the length you think is right and wrap it around the neck, front legs, and stomach. This will be the collar, sleeves, and bottom of the shirt. Repeat these steps for the back legs and tail if you want to add pants. Now it's time to add hair. I recommend letting any other sculpted parts dry beforehand to ensure that it doesn't get ruined. For this tutorial, I decided to start with the front of the hair. Roll out thin strips of clay to your desired length and roll them in a way so that the end is tapered. Next, take these strips and place them on the top of the head to create the front of the hair. The amount of strands you place here and the way you style them can differ depending on what type of custom you choose to make. Once you're satisfied with the front, it's time to move on to the back, which is a bit more time consuming. Continue to roll out strips of clay in a similar manner, and start by placing them along the bottom of the head. Press and smooth the rounded edge of the clay to the head with your finger. Create two or three more rows of hair in a similar manner to cover the entire back of the head. You can experiment with hairstyles and length, but this simple short hair is the easiest. You can also take a simpler route and just add a few strands of hair to the top of the head like this. 
And that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys found this tutorial useful. I've been sculpting for a very long time and it will take practice to find your style and get the hang of it. If you still have any questions that I didn't answer in this video, please let me know in the comments. And also let me know what other types of tutorials you would like to see next. Anyways, that's it for this video and I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye!